My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and doing really well. And today I'm viewing Burberry Hero. This is 74 pounds for 150 mil. The notes are bergamot essence, cedarwood trio, and the base notes are black pepper and juniper. That's the most weirdest thing I've ever read. Bergamot essence, cedarwood trio. And I'm, I can't bother reading the marketing. Do we have our enormous bottles of Burberry Hero? Are we engaged with our higher self? Let's get testing. So that is an ugly bottle. I mean, it's just massive, monstrous, beastly bottle. So what am I expecting? I'm expecting modern perfumery, easy to wear, four hours projection, nice, easy, kind of nothing crazy about it. So you can feel the water. So that means it's an eau de toilette. It's kind of exactly what I thought it would be. Inoffensive, modern perfumery. Hedion, Icewe Super, Acetates, Linlol. The dry down's very nice though. And this is not drying weird. So in some fragrances, they use some compounds to help aid the elevation. That reacts with other compounds to produce sulfur-like compounds on the skin. And on some people, it turns sour or gives a sulfuric sort of smell. Some people's skin, they don't get anything. But on some people's skin, there is a sour dry down. So always apply your fragrance. Don't get talked into buying it. Go for a little walk and see how it dries down because the dry down is what you're buying. You're not buying the top note. And a lot of companies will work on the top note to give you that effervescent sort of thing. You kind of, oh, I love that. And then it kind of dries down to nothing. I mean, it smells masculine, radiant, sweet, clean. I love this sweet, clean feel to it, actually. I think that's uh, very appealing. Uh, I think this is designed really well, but the price is really, it's kind of like monstrous, isn't it? I love fragrances when they are sweet and also sharp dry. I love that sort of thing in the middle. I like the grapefruit sort of thing in it. So this is like a modern, up-to-date, fresh fragrance done very, very well. On to my final thoughts. I kind of like this. It's all right. I mean, uh, again, it's not groundbreaking. I don't think it's trying to be groundbreaking. It endows me as masculine. It's so uh, un- offensive it's so put it on and get on with your day i kind of think this fragrance is good for an office fragrance or for when you don't want to have something too loud but i know some of the comments are going to be this is crazy on my skin i get 12 hours out of it and i get like a 40 feet projection i but i think for the majority of people you're kind of you're gonna get four hours clean projection it's not drying weird which I really like. And the reason it's not drying with another reason is because of the naturals in it. There's quite a lot of naturals in it. Nothing crazy. When you have formulations that are primarily aroma chemicals with trace amounts of naturals in, they can dry really weird. They can also be very stable, but majority tend to be a little bit weird smelling. This is like about 20% naturals. Nicer, robust aroma chemicals. You get something like this. So I go for my marks for you. The box, absolutely amazing. Safe, legal, compliant uh, projection. For the price, I think it's uh, pretty good. The money, I think it's worth the money. I mean, that's monstrous, isn't it? Do I like it? I kind of like it. Nothing more I can say about that, really. Kinda, I kind of like like it. I don't think it's doing anything. I don't think it's groundbreaking. But I think it's a nice, decent. I'd rather smell this on you than the, than the robot, to be perfectly honest. So I think this is a better formulation than the robot. I'm triggered by the robot you see every day. Yeah, I'm going to mark this an 8 out of 10. It's the price which is really good. I think this is a really good, robust formulation. And so the, the fragrances are about 50 to 80 pounds, which perform like this, are going to get sort of about an 8 because they're all right. And they're not pretending to be anything crazy. They're not pretending to contain uh, rose petals brought down from the hills of Egypt on magical, I don't know, something or other. It's kind of saying what it is. So I hope you love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe. More fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. And I'll see you soon.